Hello everyone and welcome to Ubisoft's brand new free-to-play shooter X Defiant. After several playtests and betas, it finally went full release a day or two ago and despite some early issues with connection problems and things like that, I managed to get into the game quite easily. Issue free all evening, managed to get into loads of games one after the other, no problems whatsoever. So I jumped in to see what's what in this game uh, and find out if it's as good as been said after it was labelled a cod killer. Now it's not unsurprising for a sort of new game to come out and be titled as a, a killer of a certain game, but I'm hesitant with this one because we've seen so many games come and go in the FPS world, so many of them coming in and kind of attempting to fill the void that many people believe actually exists in the FPS market right now. A lot of streamers, content creators kind of complain that, you know, there's not a lot of choice out there right now. So what is X Defiant? Well, X Defiant is a free to play FPS shooter where all of the factions in the game are taken from other Ubisoft IPs. The maps also seem to be sort of taken from locations in the game or at least heavily inspired by them. They've all got different abilities, which ultimately is just putting a nice coat of paint on an already tried and tested formula. Think of games like Overwatch or Shatterline, all those kind of things where all of the characters are adept in their own unique way. So it could be some are unique for or better suited for frontline support. You've got support characters themselves. You've got medics, you've got snipers for more ranged combat, all stuff we've seen before. It was nice though to see the, some of the familiar faces and characters from franchises you know seeing the cleaners from the division being kind of focused on fire abilities you've got the stealth abilities of the gang from the splinter cell franchise and you've got the elite squads from the world of ghost recon who have all the more in your face abilities with the shields and the like okay so to get into my thoughts on this as a whole I think this game is pretty good. Um, I, it definitely has some balancing issues. I think some of the abilities in the game are heavily underpowered and some are heavily overpowered as well and very disruptive and quite toxic, I guess is maybe the right word in some cases. And it can make you feel like you're fighting against a brick wall in some cases. But overall, I think they've done a good job here. Now, whilst not all of the maps are great, I think several of them are a lot of fun to play. Some are a little bit too open for my liking, which allows for those sniper shots to excel, but that's probably more of a personal thing because I just detest snipers in close combat <laughs> FPS games. Some of the map designs did unfortunately lead to a lot of choke points being created in like one very small area of the map and because of the map and the way it was designed, it didn't really allow for you to kind of get around and try and break that up and maybe move the battles to somewhere else. Everything just kind of got focused in one place. On the gun front, most of the guns I tried were pretty nice. The assault rifles in particular felt like the strongest guns in the game by some distance. I did try the SMGs, but honestly they felt pretty underpowered i think is the, is the nice way to say it, unless you're literally poking the gun into someone's face and you know there's a lot of unlocks here it, it, it's it's there's, there's a grind to be done it feels rewarding the unlocks are beneficial as well they've all got stats that add to your guns add buffs take away things as well so yeah overall the gun from a gun side i'm pretty happy there's a good range of guns as well the headshot multiplier that's one thing that i would say perhaps needs a bit, a bit of tweaking the ttk feels incredibly broad from the headshot multiplier which feels like you can put people down in a couple of bullets to if you hit sort of mid or lower body it feels like an entire mag is not enough and it just feels like you're shooting a giant sponge so that drop off between the two is quite wide you know you could from the flip side of that suggest that actually is it just rewarding skill and precision by giving people those that bigger multiplier for hitting those headshots but if you do hit headshots if you are a, a skilled gamer whether you're using keyboard and mouse or, or on a console on a gamepad you are going to take people out very very quickly if you can hit headshots more than you don't and it, the trouble is is that when you've got that more broad range it does leave you kind of frustrated at times so yeah th that is probably going to be need to be tweaked but it's not the end of the world that's something that's reasonably straightforward to fix or you should think it is so yeah overall i would say a really solid start to this game's life the microtransactions and the battle passes are a joke uh they're sitting at the valorant levels of of money it's 70 quid for the premium skins in this game um and the rewards that you get for those and the skins that you get are not really that great they're pretty basic in my personal opinion um the premium battle pass is even worse i mean there are two guns in there that are literally it looks like they took the gun put it into ms paint and hit fill with blue and fill with green and they're premium battle pass skins so i don't actually know i, for, I, I forget how much the battle pass is but i'm going to imagine it's 15 10 to 15 quid for the premium version as it is in most games I just, you're not getting value for money anymore it's, it's, it's just getting silly so it is what it is it's you know battle passes and microtransactions and shop items are nothing new are they but you know for me it's got to the point where i'm not even clicking on the tabs to look now um once once i get into the game time will tell with this game as to whether the longevity is going to be there whether this game will sort of survive longer term to me it does feel like an attempt by ubisoft to sort of fill a little bit of a void but also it does feel like it's an attempt to be a, a cash grab like a cash cow they've noticed how much of a void there is in fp in the fps well perhaps 
um, but they've also noticed the sort of money that COD makes off of skins, Apex makes off of skins, Valorant makes off of skins, and they've thought, oh yeah, that's a bit of us. Whether that was their primary focus, I don't know, but you have to say that they don't look like they've put a great deal of thinking into the shop and the microtransaction side of things, and we've seen all of this before, of course. The game itself, I would say there's nothing particularly unique about it. I don't think that there's anything in this game that we haven't seen somewhere else. All the mechanics are, are tried and tested mechanics. COD Multiplayer has been doing the vast bulk of everything that this game does for years. Is. Shatterline um, is another free-to-play shooter which I played last year. Practically the same game and it got repetitive quickly and I would say that Overwatch does the escort mode way better than this game does. The escort mode in this, whilst it's fun, you know, that from the general combat point of view is fun but the choke points and how quickly the momentum in the game switches just seems wild um and i, I don't recall ever having so many uh, wild momentum shifts in, in, in an escort game before maybe i'm wrong you know correct me if i'm wrong but just i don't know it felt a bit odd um one minute you're at 50 percent and holding them really quickly the next minute you spawn and all of a sudden they're on 80 percent. just seems a bit bit crazy maybe they just need to slow down the progression of the uh, uh of the walker thing that you're escorting uh and then on the flip side as well the finals that that's the one FPS game that's come out in recent times where I can say you've kind of put a new and interesting twist or you've at least tried to do a new and interesting twist on the genre with their unique kind of game show presentation um, fighting for the cash boxes where you can steal stuff and it's like a knockout tournament type thing. It's not entirely unique of course but it was different enough to stand out from the pack. But, and I do want to stress this, whatever Ubisoft's motives are here, the game modes on offer do have enough variety to hopefully please most FPS fans, even if only for a short time. And whilst they do all take on adaptations of modes that we've seen in other games, the fast-paced gameplay of, of X Defiant, I think does help keep it interesting. Um, so I do think there is something here, and I think there is something to keep people excited throughout their playthroughs. So I've already mentioned one of the modes in the escort mode, but additionally we also have the zone control, which is sort of a similar to Battlefield's rush mode, where you fight to capture two zones, and then once those two zones are captured, two more reveal themselves, or further ones reveal themselves, you push forward, trying to push the enemy back all the way through until you capture all of the available capture zones. Domination is a tried and tested mode with three points on the map all available to fight over. Occupy is effectively hard point from COD and Hotshot is kill confirmed from COD with a slight twist where the person who captures the most bounties becomes the Hotshot and can earn more points for each bounty and gets a buff in speed and health while they're at it. There is also a ranked mode but at the point of making this video I have yet to try this. I've read and seen that it's a 4v4 ultra competitive mode um, but that really is all I know. I'm having a lot of fun in the unranked mode with the very playlist on offer and really have not had the urge to go and try it yet so yeah i'm unsure if this is going to last i'm unsure what the longevity is going to be but i will say that this game is fun it's really easy to pick up and play it runs extremely well i first started the game on like high slash ultra settings and i was getting like 110 fps solid on an rtx 2070 super and a ninth gen i9 currently under the hood of my pc pretty damn good i think for a, for a game in 2024 but tweaking those down to more medium levels i was getting 150 solid fps obviously my monitor is 144 so that was absolutely perfect that meant i got my full refresh rate all the time um and visually it didn't really make much difference to the game i didn't notice any dramatic drop off in, in visual fidelity in the game so overall i would say from a polish point of view and performance point of view it's very very strong i didn't notice any crashing or anything like that there was some questionable hit reg at times perhaps you know maybe that's just a hangover from some of the server problems that they had earlier in the day maybe um but yeah overall very very stable so would i recommend this game yeah i think i would i think i would say that you kind of know what you're getting with the free to play genre these days you know that you're going to be getting microtransactions left right and center you know you're going to get a game that's going to be pushing you more down the grindy route and trying to maybe nudge you towards paying for things to either speed that up or, or, or you know just keep you engaged in the game uh, but even if it only just scratches your itch a little bit with the F in the fps genre I, I do think you'll have fun with it i don't think there's any real reason to hate on this game there's a decent array of guns on release to, to work towards they've got various different factions from you know well-liked genres within the uh, sorry ips within the ubisoft world i'm sure they could add more as time goes on potentially yeah i think x defiant is off to a really solid start so what do you guys think of the game uh let me know in the comments down below have, have you played it do you plan on playing it what do you think of the entire situation with the microtransactions and the and the shop does it bother you or you know do you care <laughs> maybe you don't um so yeah let me know in the comments down below make sure you like the video make sure you sub and all that good stuff and i'll see you all in the next one